I think it's fixed now. Today we're gonna see if one AC power adapter can support two diesel heaters at the same time. Well guys, it finally got cold, so we're back on diesel heater content. When I was playing with these last year, I wanted to see if I could fire up two on one, but I had them so far apart that I just built two different AC adapters. Now I'm over here at my buddy at Dawn's shop, and it's cold in here, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Yeah, so uh, it's it's not the most enjoyable. Now this shop is not really insulated and we just patched up that window. There was a couple of broken panes. So it's not gonna be constantly heated in here just while we're here. I do have a plan to put a diesel heater in each corner, including those corners over there. That will be a later video. We're gonna test it out and see how it does. But for now, we need to find out if we need four AC adapters or if we can get away with only using two. Let's see if we fry this thing. My initial diesel heater video had that red diesel heater. I do not recommend that one. After breaking that running waste oil, I picked up a Lacasse and I've picked up about four of these Vivers. I highly recommend these. They are the most fuel efficient. I have a 24 hour test video coming out between this one and this one. So check that video out and you'll see the difference. The Vivers have been nothing but reliable. I did break one running it on waste oil. Over at my place, I have two that I have run strictly on diesel, flawlessly. So if you are thinking of getting a diesel heater, I highly recommend the Viver Bluetooth units that adjust for altitude. If it is the Bluetooth unit, it adjusts for altitude. This one as well adjusts for altitude. What? <laughs> it's not like that first red one where you had to change the fueling based on altitude. Don't get one of those. It's just stupid. You want one that tells you your altitude. These obviously will be mounted later. So right now we have them on this. This is our test run stand for today. And in order to not die, I picked up some of these 10 foot exhausts. These are 25 bucks each on Amazon. And be aware, they're all made in China. They're all cheap. Don't bend them crazy hard. Unbend them slow. They're, they're cheap. I also do recommend these to make it heat better. Over at my house, one of my heaters does have this, and I have it mounted against the wall like this, then plumbed out. And what that's doing is being a radiator and releasing more heat into the shop. So, I did pick up four of them. In the Lacasse is some sauce, I call it. It's a concoction of oil and uh, gasoline. It didn't work, I didn't release the video. The heater broke, so I put a new burner in it. So we're gonna go ahead and fire up this one just to get us going. That has to be an exhaust, it's black. Are you kidding me? Let's fire this bad boy up, it's cold in here. Now, if you haven't seen the video, Go check it out, I'll link it right here. It's also linked down below. I have Amazon links to every piece. I made it with a switch. So this is the not switched cord. I bought one of each and I made one of each because honestly, you don't need the switch. I never use the switch. Pro tip, don't get it close to the exhaust. That was my bad. We do have three positive channels. So we could potentially run three diesel heaters on this. Start with one, then we're gonna go to two, and then we'll go to fire and three at the same time and just see how much wattage this, I don't know what they draw on cold start. Also in the video, I tinned the tips like on here. I need to make a revised video because what I did now is these connectors and it's way easier and Honestly, I just overcomplicated it in the video. This is the way to do it. You don't say. Shut the fuck <laughs> Yo, where's your knife? Let me have this gun. Scissors. Let there be life. As I said, this is not diesel in here. It's a uh, waste oil thinned with gasoline. 
We want the best results out of this new burner, so I'm gonna go ahead and dilute this with diesel. Can you imagine all the comments you're gonna get about a red gas tank with diesel? I don't care. <laughs> you know, there's such thing as a funnel. So I don't think a Don's ever really played with one of these at all. Oh, wow. Dude, that's that's good. And that's on, look, so we're on three bars. So let's let's ramp this up to 10. Oh, <laughs> Just wait, dude, this thing will hit 400. This is nothing. Yeah, 350. Uh, this, is, this one's pretty accurate. I spent too much money on it. <laughs> I bought him plywood because he spent the 200 bucks on the on the saw to cut the plywood. Oh, oh my. Uh. This one has an E02 and says check oil level. So I don't know, I repaired it with the new burner and it is apparently not doing what it's supposed to do or something. I don't know if the pump's out. Let's go ahead and hook up our second one and see if it can support two. I ain't scared. Oh, wow, you heard that? Oh yeah. That's interesting, that's a very interesting sound. Oh my God, look at this. Maybe that's why this heater is acting a fool. These terminals are loose. Maybe I don't need to smash this thing with a baseball bat. Start heating. Start heating. The Lacasse used to put out more heat than the Viver. So something's still not right with this unit. Honestly, guys, I ran this thing on waste oil. It was great when I first got it. This one's running on pure diesel right now. It's cold. There's probably a foot of snow on the ground. All right, guys, we're out of here. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Cherry. Let me take a look at it. I think it's fixed now. Today's cardio day. Arm day. <laughs> All right, guys, now that we took care of the non working one. Which honestly, I want to be, I want to be straight up about the company. That thing ran really good until I broke it on waste oil. So I don't want to talk down on that brand. I rebuilt it with the burner. I don't know why it wasn't functioning right. But as I've stated repeatedly, I love these Viver units. They're great. So I think we're going to up the stake here and see if we can fire three units on one power source. I didn't want to do this the other day because I didn't have extra power units. I picked up two more power supplies and cords though, so we have backups. Also swung by the shop, grabbed this one out of the little room. So we're going to fire this up next. Once we have this thing up and running, we'll go for number three. Number three is brand new. I really think it will work if I don't boot them all at once. So we're just going to keep adding one and one in and see what happens. Go! I don't want to distract you from vaping. Go, go smoke your flavored air. This guy. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and hang the power source just to get it out of her way and clean up these cords a bit. What did I tell you about leaving dead bodies around? Bro. Yeah, I should probably clean that up. <laughs> Um, you guys should not do this while it's live, by the way. Do as I t say, not as I do. Oh, oh, got it. Let's boot number two up. I'm just gonna try maxing them for five minutes and make sure nothing goes crazy.
350. 342. 350. Both of these are blowing nice. I'm calling two a success. Our fan's not even spinning on this thing. And Mr. Adon pulled out an amp clamp. And it looks like we're pulling 2.6 amps? Three amps, is that correct? Yeah, three amps. So we've got six amps and this thing's rated for 30 amps. So based on that, it sounds like we could run 10 diesel heaters off one power unit. There's only one way to find out. Unfortunately, we don't have 10. So we're gonna add number three in. Boot it up. I should probably put some diesel in this thing. All right, we'll just go high as temp, I guess. The new heater is pulling like eight amps right now. So you definitely don't want to push past three on these. I think it's because the glow plug's firing up right now. We'll see. Yeah. The other ones are only pulling two. That thing is uh, useful info. I hate that controller. I don't even like want to give it a chance because I love these ones so much. I've just gotten so used to them. The two I got on order better have the old style controller. Uh, I mean, if not, it's okay. I'll just leave the controllers I don't like here with the Don. How long does it take free? <laughs> free fitty free, brother. <laughs> I don't think this one's Wi-Fi compatible or not. Dude, I might have ordered the wrong one. I'm not seeing it on Bluetooth. Maybe that's why the controller's different. Okay, hopefully I just pulled a boo-boo and ordered the wrong one, because I hate that controller. Now just a quick amperage check to see if uh, that was just the glow plug drawing all that at the beginning. Yep. And it was. We're back down to three. It's still a little more. This is a brand new heater, so I don't know. That concludes the point of this video. We have successfully fired three eight kilowatt Viver diesel heaters on one power unit, which if you want to know how to make that, it's linked right here. I'll also link it down below. I can't remember the cost on these. It's like 30 bucks for one. So 30 bucks, you can fire three diesel heaters. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. We have one other diesel heater video in the works right now involving one more unit. So we're gonna have four units. This room, thousand square feet? Yeah, it's about a thousand square feet. Yeah, so we're gonna see what it does in here. Make sure to subscribe for that. We'll see you guys next time. It's the next day and based on the readings from the amp clamp, I'm gonna fire up all three of these at once. In theory, 81624, we should be able to just start three and it will be good, right? Right. So we're gonna give it a shot. All three. Start Boom. Start all right. There's all three at once. Will the power unit explode? Let's find out. Fan has not turned on yet, but we'll see if that changes. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button.